What do the numbers 4, 5, and 7 have in common? They're the only numbers we know of where if you take their factorial and add 1, you get a perfect square. 4 factorial plus 1 equals 25, which is 5 squared. 5 factorial plus 1 equals 121, which is 11 squared. 7 factorial plus 1 equals 5041, which is 71 squared. That's it. Just three numbers, and mathematicians have checked up to 1 billion and haven't found another one. This is Brocard's problem, one of the simplest unsolved mysteries in mathematics. Let's start by explaining what we're looking for. Factorial, written as n with an exclamation mark, means you multiply all positive integers up to n together. 4 factorial equals 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which equals 24. 5 factorial equals 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which equals 120. Now here's the question that Henri Brocard asked in 1876. For which values of n is n factorial plus 1 equal to m squared? In other words, when does n factorial plus 1 equal some perfect square? It sounds simple, right? Just take factorials, add 1, and check if they're perfect squares. But this innocent-looking problem has stumped mathematicians for almost 150 years. Let's look at the three solutions we do know about. First solution, n equals 4. 4 factorial equals 24. 24 plus 1 equals 25. And 25 equals 5 squared. Second solution, n equals 5. 5 factorial equals 120. 120 plus 1 equals 121. And 121 equals 11 squared. Third solution, n equals 7. 7 factorial equals 5,040. 5,040 plus 1 equals 5,041. And 5,041 equals 71 squared. Beautiful. Three perfect solutions. Now you might be thinking, OK, let's just check n equals 6, n equals 8, and so on. So let's try. For n equals 6, 6 factorial plus 1 equals 721. The square root of 721 is about 26.85. Not a perfect square. For n equals 8, 8 factorial plus 1 equals 40,321. The square root of that is about 200.8. Also, not a perfect square. And this is where things get interesting. We keep checking and checking, and we don't find any more solutions. So why can't we just find more? The problem is that factorials grow extremely fast. 10 factorial equals 3,628,800. 20 factorial equals 2.43 times 10 to the 18th power. 100 factorial has 158 digits. But perfect squares grow much more slowly. The gap between consecutive squares gets bigger, but not nearly as fast as factorials explode. Between two consecutive factorials, say n factorial and n plus 1 factorial, the difference is massive. But the perfect squares in that range are relatively sparse. For n factorial plus 1 to be a perfect square, you need an incredible coincidence. You need it to land exactly on one of these increasingly rare squares. Mathematicians have used computers to check this problem extensively. By the 1980s, they had checked up to n equals 1 million. By the 1990s, up to 1 billion. By the 2020s, searches have gone beyond 10 to the 15th power. The result? No new solutions. But just because we haven't found another one doesn't mean it doesn't exist. The fourth solution could appear at n equals 1 trillion, or 10 to the 100th power, or maybe never. So what have mathematicians actually proven about Brocard's problem? Here's what we know. If more solutions exist, they're huge, bigger than 10 to the 9th power. Using modular arithmetic, we can rule out entire classes of numbers. There are either only finitely many solutions, or infinitely many. We just don't know which. Brocard's problem is connected to other deep questions in number theory. The mathematician Paul Erdos worked on similar problems involving when sums of consecutive integers can be powers. Problems like this help us understand the distribution of perfect squares, the properties of factorials, and the limits of computational mathematics. Some believe there are only these three solutions. Others think there might be infinitely many. But they're so rare, we may never find another one. Brocard's problem is part of a beautiful tradition in mathematics, problems anyone can understand but nobody can solve. Like the Collatz conjecture, Goldbach's conjecture, or the twin prime conjecture, it reminds us that mathematics still has mysteries. We can send robots to Mars, 
We can simulate black holes, but we can't answer whether there's a fourth number, where n factorial plus 1 is a perfect square. 4 factorial plus 1 equals 25, equals 5 squared. 5 factorial plus 1 equals 121, equals 11 squared. 7 factorial plus 1 equals 5041, equals 71 squared. And that's what makes mathematics beautiful. The solution might come from a brilliant insight about factorial growth, a new computational technique, or a connection to another area of math. Or maybe we'll prove that 4, 5, and 7 are the only ones, that these three numbers are truly special. So there you have it, Brocard's problem. Three known solutions, nearly 150 years of searching, and still no answer. Will you be the one to find the fourth solution, or prove it doesn't exist? Until next time, keep exploring the beautiful world of mathematics.